All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to do a review for you on an incense, one of the code burners. It's called the Guarded Castle, and we just bought this from Earthbound Trading Company when we went to Tennessee. And so what I want to do is kind of show you what this is. Uh, there is one thing I don't like about it, and I want to show you what that is, too. Uh, but overall, I really do like this one. And what I want to do here in a second is I'm going to light one of the cones that we have. We bought some of the uh, Nag Champa cones, and they look like this here. And so I'm going to light one of these here in a minute. And I'm going to let the whole thing burn through so you can see what I'm going to be talking about, about one of the things that I don't like about this. And I don't know if there's really a solution to it. Um, but one thing you're going to have to remember when you use these cone incense burners is to keep the plate clean. So here, this is actually what you put your cone in. You can see this is where I burned my last one. And I'm just going to take that top part out of there. And if we try to look through this, you can see that you can't really see through it. And so that's because after you burn these cones, stuff builds up in there. And it's kind of nasty stuff, black stuff. And what you have to do is keep this cleaned out. So what I did is I found a little tool that looks like this. And so what I will do is just kind of stick it down in here. And you can see how the end of this, is, oops, how the end of this gets uh, all black with gooey stuff. So you want to keep this cleaned out because every time this burns through, uh, every single time it burns through, you're going to get the stuff in there. And after the first time the cone burns, even before it burns all the way out, it's going to, the, the incense, the, the smoke from it will stop falling from here and going down because it gets clogged up. So it just stays up here and kind of falls over the edge. So I'll show you how that works. But first, what I need to do is clean this cone out really good. So I want to grab a paper towel and do that. All right, so here's the cone now, and you can see you can see through it. So this is the way you want it to be every time you use it. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up here. Oh, actually, I forgot to tell you that this lights up, too. So on the bottom of it, it has a little switch. It takes two AAA batteries. And you can see it has like a little LED light inside of it that glows. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and light up one of these, set it up here, and you guys can see how the whole thing works from the point that I light this cone until the point that it goes out, which is usually anywhere between, I don't know, somewhere around 10 minutes probably. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna get your cone and you wanna get a lighter and you wanna light it. You only want it to burn for about five or ten seconds at the most. Usually it'll go out on its own, but if it don't, you can just shake it. And then you'll see it's glowing at the top. That's what you want. And I forgot to set my plate up in there. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the cone up here. Now on the bottom of the cone, there's a little hole. And you want to make sure that hole sits right over top the hole on the plate. Just like that. And so what I'm going to do is we're just going to go ahead and let this go and let it burn and you can watch it. And then you're going to see here in a few minutes how it's going to start actually um, coming down from the top.
Okay, so it's only been a couple minutes now and you can see that it's already filled up the bottom of the castle there and it's actually going over it. And it'll do this for a few more minutes. And one thing I want to mention is that you want to put this somewhere where there's no fans and there's no air blowing because even the slightest bit of air will cause all the smoke that you're seeing there to actually just kind of float away and it won't, it won't be going down and it won't be filling up anything. Okay, so you can see now it's been after a few minutes, and if you notice up here by the cone, where it's not coming out down here no more. It's almost stopped, and now it's all coming out of here, and that's because the cone is now kind of getting full of that gunky stuff. And so, I don't know, it seems like they should make the plate, or the hole that goes down in there, wider, so it doesn't uh, do that so fast, because not even, or maybe half of it's been burnt up, so we still have the other half. And this is what it's going to do for the rest of the time. And do not touch that as you are uh, maybe trying to figure out what's going on with it. You do not want to try to pick it up because that plate gets very hot. And so you will burn your finger on it. And then if the ashes from the cone fall on your finger, you will burn yourself on that too. So you just want to let it go until it burns out. And then once it burns out, you want to wait several minutes before you do anything with it because it's still going to be hot on the inside of the cone and it could still cause a fire if you were to like dump it in the trash or put it in a, wherever. So you want to make sure that it's completely out 
or even uh, have like an ashtray or some kind of a dish that maybe you can put it in. That way it has time to cool off before you dispose of it. Okay, so we're now at the point where there is nothing coming down this little slide and this nothing's going on here. But if you look up at the top here when um, on the steps, you'll notice that it looks a little bit gunky. And that's because that stuff that fills up on the uh, tube or on that plate also comes down here. And you can't hardly see it because it's so dark. And now that I'm getting close to it, I'm messing up the... Uh, the smoke a little bit but that gets really gunky in there okay so this is all there is to it this is the guarded castle and let me just set this down here very gently and this here is the box. So this is what it looks like from Earthbound if you're interested in getting it. And that is the Earthbound Trading Company. I'm not sure if you can find it online or not. We actually went to their store and was able to find this. And we, we have several others and I'll be doing videos on them as well. So you can check those out. But overall, these do very well. The cones last anywhere from, I don't know, around 10, maybe 15 minutes. But if you're interested in checking it out, I will put a link below this video that will take you to their website where you can see it and some other uh, ones that we use and that we like as well that you can find on Amazon, which seems to be about the cheapest place to buy these. So that's it for the Guarded Castle Incense Burner. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this of incense burners. And... And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we will get to them as soon as we can. Thanks.